Qubit Lite provides a very simple method of producing functional OLAP cubes from flattened data sets. To access Qubit Lite, you click the Qubit Lite module link. From here, we select the flattened data set upon which we want to base the cube. In this case, we have a flattened data set called DS Sales Analysis, which we're going to use to produce this cube from. Having selected that, we then define which of the fields from the flattened data set are going to constitute the measures and which are going to constitute the dimensions. We can use the multi-add feature to select more than one attribute at a time. So to define our dimensions, we select category, customer, product, salesperson, subcategory and territory and set this to be our dimensions. To define our measures, using the multi-add feature again, we select order quantity and order value and define these as measures. Finally, our order date, we want to be a time dimension and click add. If we want any of our dimensions to have hierarchies, for example, product rolls up into subcategory and subcategory rolls up into category, we can do that subsequently by redefining the dimension. So we say that the product dimension rolls up into subcategories and then subsequently subcategories roll up into product categories. So that's defined a hierarchy within the dimension. We can either leave category and subcategory as dimensions in their own right or alternatively by clicking the black cross we can remove them since they're no longer required. The measures that we've added have been given the automatic aggregation of sum. If we want to use a different aggregation, we merely drill into the measure and change the aggregation function. Having defined our qubit like cube, we simply click Save and the Generate button, and the cube is then built based on that definition. We're in the Data Services event log, and once the cube begins to build, the entry will turn orange, and then once completed, the log entry turns green. This cube is now built and ready for analysis.